Fingerprints led to charges being filed in a 10 year old cold case this week. Channel 3's Caitlin Chastain looked into how fingerprints are used in investigations and how they're used to solve cases that have gone cold. The Hamilton County District Attorney's cold case unit ran old evidence through a fingerprint database and turned up a match that wasn't there nearly 10 years ago. We wanted to know how often investigators check old evidence against new fingerprints. Thumb, and you would get a roll of the finger too, like this. Every person charged with a misdemeanor or felony crime in Hamilton County goes through this process. Every person's print is different. Every single person. Fingers and palms are digitally documented and entered into a national database where they stay indefinitely. A gold mine of potential suspects for investigators hoping to solve cases. That is extremely important if they have fingerprints to be matched up in the system to help crack the case, to help solve. Yes, this is definitely you. These are your fingerprints, nobody else's. Investigators who collect prints from a crime scene can use the prints to look for a match in this national database. And we'll send it and let you know that the packet's been submitted. If a suspect has never committed a crime before, there will not be a match. This is where the FBI sent back identified or not identified. But there is no database to keep track of collected fingerprint evidence that has no match. A spokesperson with the district attorney's office says they do resubmit fingerprint evidence, hoping for new leads, especially if they get a new tip. Hamilton County has nearly 200 cold cases, and that does not include missing persons cases, which makes it difficult to supply the time and resources needed to regularly rerun old evidence. But with each new arrest and fingerprint, they have a higher chance of solving a case. But it's very good, I mean, because it goes all over the country. And so if they have something anywhere, their fingerprints will be in that database. That was Caitlin Chastain reporting. At any given time, the DA's cold case unit is looking at nearly a dozen unsolved cases. The unit has solved 17 cases since its creation four years ago.